Hello. Hi. Yeah, hello, Ariel. I'm sorry. I thought I invited. I, I was wondering why you guys were not here. And I realized I didn't send the invitation letter. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Hey, how are you today? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Are you fully recovered? Uh, not not fully, but almost. Right? Almost. Uh, almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Did you go to school, by the way? Yeah. Oh, you went to school, and uh, did you have like any problem, like you know, staying at school, and that was hard, so that you went to the nurse room and you come back home a little earlier, something like no. that? No, not at all. Yeah. Okay. Then what did what did you do at school today? Uh, uh, it's the end of the semester, so we just. We finish all the class we have to do, so we just play. Oh, I see. So did you mean the the end of the semester? And did you mean that literally, which means today was the last day of this semester or? No, uh, that, uh, it, this first semester, semester ends this Friday. Oh, this Friday. Okay, <clears throat> that's good news. Okay, so you guys love vacation, don't you? Okay, yeah. that's good. And Stella, you came second. And uh, how do uh how do you do? How are you today? Um, good. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, just now I heard Ariel's uh vacation will start this Friday. Then what about yours? Um. Uh, I don't know exactly, but maybe it will start mm -hmm. um, next uh, Thursday or Friday. Oh, I see. So next week, huh? Okay, that's great. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Then what about you then, your school? What do you do in your school nowadays? Is it the same like Ariel? Because of, you know, because something you learn that finished and then so that's why you just play at school? Um, no, we don't play at school. We, um, it was just same like usual. Uh-huh, I see. Okay. How many classes did you have today? Uh, I had six classes at school today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, after the school, did you go to the library? Um, no. Um, nowadays, I, I have enough time to go to the library. Mm -hmm. Did you say, uh, did you try to have. say, oh, you don't have. <gasps> so you must be busy. Then what are you busy with? Um, uh, there are too much homework uh, i think so mm, okay i feel bad about that and uh what about layla then how are you today good uh-huh always good isn't it <laughs> that's great and uh, how was your day maybe you could just uh, tell us about it a little i went to school mm -hmm and came back that's it what about your classes then just now ariel said there was nothing else to learn nowadays in this semester so that's why she didn't learn a lot she just played and what about your <laughs> your school <laughs> it's the same school though but yeah. different grade so what about your grade your class we we do the same thing too oh really you have nothing to learn now yes okay okay it sounds like stella is the most uh i mean uh, stella is the busiest person in this room now weird you're just an elementary sixth grader you shouldn't be busy um, yeah oh um, yes <laughs> hey layla i just saw you and then i think you're blessed don't you have a lot of hair? Yeah. <laughs> Ariel, what? What's up with that? What did I do I, wrong? I, oh, you didn't do anything wrong. 
I think I think that's a bliss is because you know nowadays I see like people are worried about their hair because they they lose hair very early like men and I lose women it's the same too. Sorry what 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 I lose a lot of hair too What are you a lion you lost hair and that's how much you have now I I don't have that many Oh that much Okay I see then what do you mean by you lost hair how much did you lose I don't know, but I when I go to the salon, I uh -huh. have too much hair, uh so -huh. I lose it on purpose. oh i see i see yeah because that's what they do <laughs> i was worried about you like normally people say hair loss then that means like they uh, they are like they're losing it losing it without their will Um. all right it's fine okay but Aren't you a little hot nowadays? Because, you know, outside is really hot, but with that much hair, maybe it's a little hot too, right? Isn't it? I I usually go out and tie my hair. Aha, uh -huh, I see, I see. But what about the back of your neck? When you tie your hair, does it still cover back of your neck? No. Oh, oh, I see. Then what about Stella then? Do you do the same? Do you tie your hair outside? Um no, I don't like to tie my hair because if I tie my hair, um Uh, um, it is not good to look. Oh, I see. So you look better with uh, the, the hair untied, right? Yes. Oh, I see. Then, you know, it's almost the same with Ariel. Ariel doesn't really tie hair, do you? Yeah. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, then why do you not? Uh, because uh, it's more uh, not tying hair. Hair is more comfortable. Ah, uh -huh, I see. All right. Then, uh, are there any? I mean, is there any reason that you have long hairs? Because you know, normally girls have long hair and guys have short hair. Uh, why? Why is that? Hello. Then uh, now what I'm thinking is that if you could choose, I mean, like, what if, what if, what if, I'm saying what if, what if all the friends of yours, I mean, girl friends, they have short hairs, and there's the universe that uh, women have short hair, men have long hair. And in summer, it must be better to have short hair, right? And it's, it, it wouldn't be weird in that world. Which would you prefer? Short or long? Uh, I prefer wrong hair. Uh huh. Why is that? Um, because just uh, I like wrong hair. Mm -hmm. Why do you like it? Um, um, when I have wrong hair, uh, I, I. more um yeah it looks better Uh huh. You want to say I look better when I have a long when I have long hair. yes Okay. Then what about Layla? Then would you still prefer the long hair? i don't mind You don't mind. Oh, okay. I see. Then what about Ariel? Then long hair or short hair? Which would you choose? uh Uh, uh, long hair. Okay. Why is that? Uh, because uh, in summer we can tie our hair, so Uh huh. long hair is and long hair looks better. Ah, uh, it's because it looks better. Okay, it's because you know I'm a man and I have lived with short hair, and then I uh, last time I had long hair too, and then in summer it was really hot, especially back of my neck was sweating a lot. So I don't know. 
I don't know. I would definitely choose short hair, even if I was a girl. But anyways, that was about the hair. And I don't know. Oh yeah, let's talk about the homework. Well, I want to talk about your vocabulary. Layla's vocabulary increased a lot. And Layla, do you feel so? Oh, uh, I think. Okay. And Ariel's vocabulary, then what about you, Ariel? Then are you satisfied with your vocabulary? Um, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Are you asking uh, Ariel now? I I'm satisfied with my vocabulary. Uh huh. But then yesterday I checked your homework, both of your homework. I mean, three of you actually. So Layla uh, took eight minutes to solve one question, and Ariel took about, uh, I remember it was like 25 minutes at least. So it took actually longer time. It was just because Ariel needed to uh, find the word, I mean, look up the word in the dictionary and then add it to your own cassette. That's why it takes longer time. But then, Layla, do you remember? First time it was the same to you, actually, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, but then you just uh, kept, kept checking and then kept just solving the problem over and over again. Then now, you don't have to. It's because all the words, the vocabulary you see in the question, you already know it. That's why. And Stella, you haven't done it yet, but then you will feel the same way. Like you don't know a lot of words in the in the paragraph, and then you will need to look up the word in the dictionary. That's a problem. But then you just need to do it to make yourself better. So one day this will greatly help you. Please keep on doing so. And Stella, so do you have room to do more homework like that? I just gave you, all of you, new homework which he is about a uh, uh, high school practice test then. Stella, do you have time for it? Uh, uh, I don't know uh, how long it would take. It might take additionally about 20 to 30 minutes, I think, for you, but what if you can uh, fix the time you want to spend on it? Then how much time would you want to spend on it? Um, I want to spend um, for about 20 minutes. Oof, additionally, that's painful. But anyways, in this class, uh, what we want to focus on is uh, this. We need to speak in English. That's it. So. Uh, my purpose and goal is to make you speak as much as you can. So to do so, we need to choose what to talk about. So what do you want to talk about today? Is there any specific topic you want to talk about? Or is there anything you want to do in this class? Anyone? If not, then I can just choose mine. Is that okay for you too? I mean, three? Yes. Okay, we want to talk about vacation. So, vacation, if you can choose to go anywhere, where would you go? And uh, maybe before that, I want to ask you, uh, do you have any plan for this vacation? Um, no, no. Not yet. Okay, then what about Ariel? You probably yeah. has this plan secretly, no? Okay. Yeah, yeah but uh, this summer, it might be really hot and also it will rain a lot, that's expected. So what do you think is the best place to go in this summer? Or something good to do or something you want to do? Anything is fine, just something imaginable 
I want to stay at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Layla. And why? Turn conditioner. <laughs> okay. And what about Ariel? Uh, swimming pool. Swimming pool? You want to go to a swimming pool? <laughs> okay. Is there any swimming pool on your mind now? No. No, just a swimming pool. Okay, then what about Stella then? What do you what did you want to do in this summer vacation? I want to go to the ocean. Ocean, okay. Uh, or swimming pool. Oh, all right. Then when you talk about the swimming pool, then do you have any swimming pool in your mind? Because in Korea, there are like some popular and famous swimming pools too. Nothing because I don't know about many uh about swimming pool's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Then now we have two opinions, and that was swimming pool. And now let's talk about swimming pool. So we can choose how to go to swimming pool and who to go to swimming pool with. So if you could choose someone to bring to the swimming pool then who would you go there with ariel who would you go there with uh, with friends uh sorry what was that sorry i couldn't hear you just now uh with friends oh i see okay you want to go to a swimming pool with your friends all right then you just said Plural, so maybe I need to ask you how many friends do you want to go to the swimming pool together? Uh, uh, at least two. At least two. And what about if I want to ask you uh, how many maximum, then how many friends would you bring there? Four. Four. Okay, okay. When you go there, is there anything you want to eat and maybe some kind of ride there? Can you imagine? Uh, I like uh, slide. Uh huh. So, Water slide, okay. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And what about some food? Any food that you might like there? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Then now I want to ask Layla then, what about you then? If you go to a swimming pool, who would you go there with? Uh, my friends. Okay, you want to go there with your friends then. All right, how many friends would you go there with? Six. Six? That's a lot. And that was specific. And uh, do you have those six people in your mind now? No. <laughs> <laughs> then why why would it be six then? Because like six is I think six is just right. Oh, uh -huh, I see. But when I hear six, maybe six is a little too many, and that's just how I thought. All right. It is? Yeah, I, I thought so. I was thinking maybe three friends. I mean, including me, maybe four. But you mentioned okay. six. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking about maximum 11 to 12. Wow. Uh, you are the E type. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I'm the I type, so maybe I want to think about, you know, the seeing, seeing some swimming pool pictures on my computer under the air conditioner. But you bring <laughs> 11 people. You're but, amazing. Uh, uh i like uh to play with uh small 
uh, like small amount of friends, but uh swimming -huh. pool is you go to oh go with a lot of people. that must be fun i remember when i was studying in malaysia actually like three class class like uh p all the people from three different classes they all went to the swimming pool together and it was really big but then it was crowded with uh, like our people there and I, it, was, it was so much fun there yes so yeah the more the better maybe that's the case all right is that some kind of swimming pool experience you want yes okay that'd be great i think so i might still have the picture hey uh and what about stella then what about you how many people do you go there with um two because they're all two my best friends um yeah so i want to go there with two okay just two friends okay why not oh and why would that be two why why not six why not 11 why not um um i think 11 people is too much and if i go there too much people um i don't know uh, i think to go there with um two people uh, we can play more fun Oh, oh, I see. Wow, it's interesting. Like everyone thinks differently. Okay, okay. Well, that's probably the swimming pool experience. And um, okay, then maybe we can talk about other things. Okay, that is uh, one, one uh, vacation experience that you can choose from. And what about, uh, you know, you probably have this kind of experience, but then you go to mountain and then there's, There are there are some places you can swim. Do you know what kind of thing that I'm mentioning now? Okay, okay. I don't even know how to call it. Is it called belly? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Belly, I think. Yeah, but I'm not sure if this word is correct because you know, when I talk about this word, maybe people in america and england they think something different that's why i'm not sure so maybe i go to image search yeah this is what i'm talking about like it's not exactly belly i think but anyways when you go to the mountain and there's belly and some belly in there it it, it isn't exactly lake because it's small but then there is some place that you can swim right Have you ever been to the place like that? Yes. Yes. Okay, Layla has, Ariel must have, have been, and Stella has. So now what if we can choose from two different places? One is the swimming pool that you thought about just now, and the other is the belly. So where would you go? Swimming pool. Okay, swimming Swimming pool. pool. And who, like Stella swimming pool, and what about Ariel? Swimming pool. Swimming pool? Really? I was thinking maybe belly is better. Why? Why is swimming pool better, you think? Tell me. Um, uh, I think Bally's water is too cold, then uh, it would be a little dangerous. Um, Oh. and uh, the depth of water is not. Uh, uh, enough as some belly, um, and there, there is a there are a lot of stones, so I think swimming pool is better place to play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see. That was Stella's opinion. Then what about Ariel and Layla? Why why swimming pool over belly?
because uh, uh, I went to Valley mm -hmm. a lot of times mm -hmm. and I heard a lot because mm -hmm. of the rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think swimming pool is more safe. Okay, makes sense. And what about Ariel? Uh, uh, in Valley, you don't have many things to play. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the swimming pool, you can uh, ride uh, the swimming water slide or do much thing than valley. Mm. Okay, I see. So there, are, there uh, valley could be uh, more dangerous. And the other reason was uh, swimming pool has more things to play with. Oh yeah, I agree with you. Then, yeah, okay, maybe the essence of this topic is the water and uh, the time to play together. And so now maybe I can move it to another one that is ocean, ocean or uh, the sea. Let's talk about the seaside. Then now we have another choice and that is the seaside. And what about you then? Now you have three different choices, swimming pool, belly and seaside. Where would you go? Swimming pool. Oh, still swimming pool. And someone else, please. Swimming pool and this side, uh, I like, uh, I like equally. Oh, I like, you'd like them equally. Okay, good, good opinion. And what about Ariel? Uh, See. You mean swimming pool? No, sea. Oh, seaside. Side. Okay, okay, I see. Then now I think that's where we draw the line now because you know it's like half and a half now. So all right. So what's the strong point of the seaside? Maybe Stella, you can oh. tell us first. Um, there seaside have beach mm -hmm. and. Um, there uh have and waves too, and I like them. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see. Then what about Ariel? Uh, uh can I change it to swimming pool? No, you can't. <laughs> of course you can. Yeah. Um. Okay. But still, still, you can talk about the strong point of the uh, the seaside. The seaside. Yeah. Uh, the in the seaside, mm -hmm. there is beach, beach, beach. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you can play with sand there or there's the sea so mm -hmm. you can swim there good okay i think beach is important there then what about Layla? then uh, can you just uh, come up with one strong point at least of the uh the seaside that is beautiful mm -hmm. And the swimming pool. Hmm. But then now, maybe we talk about the drawbacks of the seaside. Then what's the drawbacks of the seaside? Sharks. What was that? Sharks. But they are cute. <laughs> they they could be very dangerous. Yeah. Right. They are cute in the songs, but. Not in reality. <laughs> True. Okay, sharks and uh, okay, one drawback: sharks and what else? Don't have slides. Uh, what was that? 
the don't have slide. True. Slide. Yeah, it doesn't have slide. But then they have something else like banana boat, and the、uh, boat boat as well, like yacht and all all kind of things like surf. Okay, then what about Stella? Then what's the drawback of the the seaside? We don't know how deep the sea, so it could be dangerous. True.、Mm, right. When you go deeper and further, then yeah, they could be really dangerous. Right, because the of the、uh, the wave wave can bring you to the shore, but sometimes it does the does the、uh, does it、uh, exactly opposite. Like it just、uh, draw you to the sea. Sometimes, and that could be dangerous, right? Okay, so now we talked about it, and what about the lake? Now we have four choices. Have you ever been to any kind of lake? It's not valley, but lake.、Uh, no. No. This lake involves like uh ah no. No, okay, yeah, Bali is in the mountain, but uh, the lake is more about some like what can I say? Uh, let me check that out. Yeah, it's it's just uh somewhere between like open field, so it's it's about mountain. If there's mountains, Bali. If there's no mountain, then maybe this is about what is it? The、uh, the lake. I don't know. It's the slightly different, anyways. But you know, in American movies, you can see some like old times, old timers, like old generation. They used to、uh, swim in the river, swim in the lake as well, right? But then me as well, I have never done it so far. So what I when I when I think about swimming in the lake or river, and what I think is maybe alligator is dangerous. Have you ever thought about that way? But I el but alligators attack people. Do they not? I don't、I've、know. I never heard that、yeah. alligator but, attack. But they are even dangerous in the songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I got that. <laughs> okay. I I don't know. But what about the snakes? Some snakes they swim. And、they、also,、do. when we yeah they do,、yeah. and、uh, when we talk about the ocean as well, like you know nowadays, you know there is a student I teach and he lives in Busan, and then he he's the he's the wind surfer, so which means like he go to Hyundae to surf there, but nowadays he doesn't do it. I asked him why. He said jellyfish nowadays is really dangerous. So yeah, it's not only shark, but there's jellyfish as well. Okay. Okay, so that was about the vacation and water, and what else? Maybe not involved with water, but something else could be fun. Maybe mall. What about the mall then? Especially Layla, you have the mall like Starfield really near to your house. So, don't you think maybe you go to a cafe in the mall and that could be a great experience for your vacation as well? Yeah, I I I just go there all the time, so it's not <laughs> really great experience. Oh, I see, I see. All right, then what about Ariel? Then what do you think of going to a mall and just enjoy your time there?、Uh, I I went Starfield a lot, so um.、Uh, I want to go to other mall. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Stella. I have a question. Isn't there Starfield near、uh, next、uh, near your place? What Starfield? Oh, it isn't. Okay. Uh, Starfield is gigantic mall. Just like uh, you might have AK Mall there in Seoyeon Station, right? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Oh, I thought you、yeah. live near Seoyeon Station. No, you don't. Um. Yeah. Sorry. I think it's near. Uh huh. 
Oh, you probably are too busy to go there, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a big mall, but then normally malls are like department stores. Have you been to department stores? Yes. Okay, so can you name one department store you went to? Oh, uh, I went to NC department store. Mm. I think that was in that that was uh, AK Mall, isn't it the same? I think I went there to have dinner with my family last time. And see, is there Ashley or Vikings? Oh yes. I think I went to Ashley last time. Yes, yeah. So NC is a department store, and uh, have you been to NC or AK Mall, Layla and Ariel? No. Then uh, name one department store you went to. What is department store? Department store is Pekwajam. Uh, new core. New core. Okay. Then what about Ariel? Uh, new core. Okay. Then have you ever been to Hyundai department store? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Then what about Stella? Have you been to Hyundai department store? Yes. Okay. So how many times is the Starfield bigger than one Hyundai department store? Uh, I think the part hundred department store is high. Yeah. But Starfield is fat. <laughs> it is fat. That's a good experience. I mean, uh, explanation actually. Yeah, that's how how we need to put it. It's fat and wide and longer. So when we talk about uh, only the width and uh width and width and what what else is that width and length how big is starfield than hyundai department store 50 times 50 times oh yeah so that's how we can put it so starfield is one big shopping mall which is 50 times bigger than hyundai department store yes that's what it is that's starfield so actually uh, Layla and Ariel, they live right in front of uh, Starfield, so that's why they always go there, because it has everything inside. Okay, okay. So yeah, maybe for you, uh, mole experience is nothing, but sometimes like some people, they want to go to Starfield to just see what's there. Okay, and what about the experience in Lake Park then? Hey, uh, isn't 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 there Lake Park in Sion near around Sion as well? No, uh, I don't know. Oh, I I remember in Songnam there's a great uh park as well. But anyways, yeah, we have less than a minute now, so I'm gonna break the room and then I'm gonna reinvite you, and then we can talk about other things as well. So think about some topics, please, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that was the uh, vacation experiences. And all right. And okay, maybe we could talk about something else if you want. I personally want to talk about some good stories, especially now that I remember. Not now that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember Stella likes to write stories. And yes. That's why actually last time, I mean, the last class, I wanted to talk about the stories. So can you just briefly talk about some stories you wrote? Um, I want to, uh, I want to write about some fantasy story mm. because in the story, I uh I can 
express my any imagination. So I like fantasy. Uh -huh. I see. So you write fantasy stories, and do you also draw some pictures about that story? Um, no, because uh, I don't like to draw something because I'm not good at drawing. Oh, I see. But you don't have to be good at drawing nowadays. It's because if you write about something, then the chat GPT can draw it for you. You know that, right? Yes. So what I'm saying is when I go to well, this is one uh, audiobook that I recommended to one of my students and then he's reading it every day now and you must know this that is this one what are you doing here I said so these are all like okay just uh I need to find the best oh, come on what are you? Oh. What? What? Yeah, like Little Prince, you know that, right? Little Prince? Yes. And But what I'm saying is somebody might have, draw, might have drawn this picture, but nowadays we don't really have to. We can just tell them the story and then they can, I mean, GPT or any AI services, they can draw the picture for your story perfectly. So what I'm saying is if you have a lot of imagination and then you want to write uh, books and in your free time, I know you don't have much, but in your free time, I want you to at least try to make it in some kind of, what is it, some kind of movie clips like this and then use your story plus use the pictures that are drawn by AI and then maybe you can make it into some kind of YouTube clip like this and then just post it little by little oh, yes. don't you think that's a good idea if you yes. write it all by yourselves and all by yourself and then nobody knows about it then it will just It'll just, uh, people won't remember it at all. Mm, yes, it must be a good idea. Okay. Well, then, I don't know. This is what not what I do, but what if you can give me a little bit of the story to me? Maybe I can do it on your behalf. Maybe I can ask AI to draw a picture of it. And might be I can just send it to you by Kakao Talk, and you want to see it. If you see it, then if you like it, then maybe you can just do the same by yourself. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, yes, but uh, I don't want to send my story to you, so I will try myself. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Then maybe I write my story later, then I will just show you how I would do it. So then you can just follow the steps. Oh, yes. Okay, that's a good, great idea because I don't want you to waste your time. You just need to do something and then show people because they will shine later. Okay, well, that just popped up in my head. So I think that's a good idea. Then uh, next, I don't know. So that's the fantasy story. And what about... Layla and Ariel then I don't know you just uh, you know the time is coming like the the world changed a lot and then you can have a lot of things with your AI system so Layla and Ariel is there anything that you can actually use AI in your real life and the homework well, yeah, that's possible. So tell me about it. How would you use it? To make sentences, English mm -hmm. sentences. Mm -hmm. Just like you actually use ChatGPT for your homework, right? Yes. Good. Very good. That's how you use it. Then what about Ariel? Uh, 
You don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Then, uh, have you ever tried talking with the AI service like ChatGPT? Because I actually wanted to give Stella the homework, just like that. Because now Stella, one of Stella's homework is homeworks is um, she needs to talk about the topic given by me. But I think it would be better if you can just talk with AI service in English. Have you ever tried it, Stella? Okay. But uh, would you have time for that homework? If you don't have to uh, keep on doing your current homework that is involved with the, uh, the, what is it, the topic speaking, if you don't do it, then would you have more time to talk with the actual ChatGPT AI service? Uh, how long I have to do? How long would you want to do that? Maybe that's the question I need to ask you. Uh, if I don't need uh need to sp uh, speech homework, if if I do the new homework, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> then I want to do the homework. Uh, 10 minutes 10 minutes okay i think that'll be fine that ariel and layla then what about you guys would you do the same homework talking with chat gpt um, yeah i think so yeah mm -hmm. this current high school practice test homework is uh good for me good and okay and what about Ariel then? Uh, I, I don't mind. You don't I mind? Like uh huh, uh huh, okay. Let's see. All right then. Anyways, I think I, I'm going to give Stella the homework and then I'll guide you how to do it. And Layla, maybe you just need to focus on the high school practice test. And Ariel? I will think about it a little more. Okay, so that's what I wanted to ask you about the homework. And next, maybe we need to talk about other things. I don't know. What's on your mind? Or I can just ask, simply ask ChatGPT what we can talk about. All right, then. Well, yeah, this is fun topic, actually. The future of artificial intelligence, so AI. So how do you think it will change later? Have you ever oh. thought about it? Because it will change a lot. It's changing now a lot, again. I've never thought about it. You actually should, because the world is changing, but then you believe that all the things you learn at school is everything, but that's not true. Things are really changing now. Okay, oh, are you not interested in the second topic here? Yeah. <laughs> you, you really should be, because education is slow. Even if you learn everything from your education, then you'll set behind. Okay. Third is favorite books and their influence on you. I don't know. Miss book. So for the benefit and drawbacks of online learning. Yeah, let's just learn about, I mean, talk about this. The benefits and drawbacks of online learning. What do you think it is? The benefits of online learning is uh, we can learning 
anywhere uh, and we can learn um, according to my face. So my learning is really flexible. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and draw back the online learning uh, is uh, there is no person who can check the students. So some of students uh, can do other things when they have to do their homework. Yes, I think that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you too. But what do you think? Is my class online learning or should this be online learning too? Yes. Okay. Okay. So my class is online learning class, I think. And just now you mentioned the drawbacks, but then what about my class then? Do I have the same drawbacks? No. Mm -hmm. I see. Then now what about Ariel? What is your opinion? The benefits and drawbacks of online learning? Benefits of online learning is that you can learn it far when you are far away from the teacher and the students <clears throat> and the drawbacks of online learning is that if you have a bad internet connection <laughs> then uh, the students might not hear and the teacher might not know what's happening so it could be a problem true very true okay and what about Layla then what do you think the benefits and drawbacks are I think benefit is that I can learn more things than offline learning, mm -hmm. but the drawbacks are that I can't meet, actually meet the teacher. So the, I feel a little less friendly. Oh, I see. Well, you are really the E type. <laughs> you might need 11 teachers at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I'm the I type, so I'm very comfortable with this now. But... I I'm I type too. You are? Are you sure? Yeah. No, I think the test lied. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, you know, sometimes you check your MBTI and your E and sometimes your I, right? No. Uh, no, just just totally our time. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, next is the importance importance of mental health awareness. Oh yeah, this is important, right? Okay. So, how uh, do all of you understand the question? Uh, the topics. Uh, it's not really a question though. Uh, I don't know the meaning of awareness. Awareness? Okay, uh, Layla and Ariel, if you know, if you knew, then uh, could you uh, tell Stella, could you explain Stella the meaning of this? I don't know either. Come on, you just said you know. Okay, then what I, about, I... <laughs> what about Ariel then? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. This is this. But then you guessed uh, what this is about, right? Then yes. would you tell me? Would you tell me what you guessed uh, with this English sentence here? You can say it in Korean. Uh, mental 
멘탈 건강 멘탈 건강 주의의 중요성 Okay, then what about uh, Layla? What do you think it is? I thought of the same thing, but I think it doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, okay. So then maybe, do you see the word here, aware? Yes. Then do you know aware? Does any of you know the word aware? I don't know. Okay, then it has this at the end. That means it's aware. Mm -hmm. Aware is the verb, but with this, it can be a noun. Yeah. Aware is that uh, I understand what's happening. That's aware. And awareness is the noun form of it. So I guess maybe awareness is inji. I'm guessing. Yeah. Inshik, uishik, chigak. 인지도, 경각심. So when I talk about the importance of mental health awareness, which means that is, uh, what if the person is is a, a person understands how healthy his mental is or not knowing it? That's what it is. Because some people they think they are okay, but they are not. Okay, so that's the topic. Then. Uh, Okay, now let's talk about the importance of that. Ariel, could you talk about it a little? Uh, uh, um, um, Uh, <laughs> music class? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's not very important mm -hmm. because, you know, it's their mental so they can know when their mental is uh, not healthy. So, oh, uh, can I do it a little later? Oh yeah, sure. We always have Layla. Uh, I think it's important because when you don't have mental health awareness, you don't know if you're okay or not okay. Uh, and if you don't know you're okay and not okay, then you might get in trouble. True, actually, that's true. Okay, uh, that well, then what's the opinion of Stella now? Uh, I think uh, mental health is important because if we have um unhealthy mental uh we can be sick and we can't live a happy life so i think mental health health awareness is really important true is very important then what about ariel what do you think now well, uh, I think it's important because if you don't know if your mental is healthy, then you can't, you can't 
be mentally healthy. So I think mental health awareness is important. True. Mental health awareness is very, very important. Even if this is high school topic, but you guys really should know, I mean, aware your mental, mental health, uh, how can I say, uh, situation, I think. So there will be some kind of uh, survey, survey paper. How often do you get angry? Of course, I'm angry all the time. And then maybe, maybe they need to check it every every so often so that they need to uh how can i say um subject no objectively see themselves time to time and they need to understand if they are mentally healthy or unhealthy because you know we always see things uh by our perspective and so that's why we don't know if other people think us and uh this is mentally unhealthy or healthy so there should be some kind of survey paper for you guys too so that you need to frequently check if you're uh, 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 unhappy without any reason or too happy with any reason or un without reasons because you know people get uh, mentally unhealthy and that gets worse and worse without any precaution or any other solution and they do things really wrong over time and that gets worse and worse and so sometimes you see news and some like mad people are on the street and they do things wrong, right? They should start somewhere, but then they didn't have this mental health awareness. That's why they got worse and worse. So now I want to ask you, each of you, are you guys happy with your life? No? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So sometimes maybe you just need to check by yourselves if you're happy today, if you're unhappy today, and why. Awareness is very important. The next is how to achieve a sustainable lifestyle. Hmm. Can we check uh, something else? Elementary school to middle school topics. Why? Would this be too difficult for you guys now? <laughs> A little. Oh, okay, why not? Oh, it's not. Maybe it's fun to see how diff different it is now. <laughs> so superpowers, I think we have done it before. So place, any place you want to go. Funniest thing that ever happened to me. Hmm, I don't know. You might want to talk about it. So do you have any something fun that happened to you? Mm. No. It's because you know every day I ask you like how are you then good. <laughs> you you guys don't really have emotions. Come on, you guys are like <laughs> robots. Why my <laughs> pad or dream pad is the best? Uh, it could be for uh, Stella. So Stella, do you want to talk about it a little? Um, um I don't care. Okay, I see. We have fishes too. Oh, let's go. I have a son. <laughs> okay, so now, Layla, why is your fish the best? Because they can talk and they don't know if I'm their uh, owner. And they cannot, I cannot touch them and I cannot play with them. But uh, I, at least they have been living with me for like three years, two years. 
so they're kind of precious. Mm, okay, I see. How long can, can they live? Uh, that, that like uh, we had a lot, but like a quarter of them died. We had Oh. a lot. We died a lot, so I think they're they can live for like one to three years. Mm, mm, mm. One to three years. I see. Then what about tur turtles? Uh, have you ever considered raising turtles? Yeah, I wanted to. They live a long time, right? They do. They do, yeah. So I'm raising a turtle. You do? Yes. You never talked about it. Uh, oh, I said that. Oh, really? Yes. How old are they? Um, I starting. I am starting. Uh, raising total when I was seven years old. <gasps> Did it get bigger? Yes. Um, my total is big. Uh, like um, this. Um, but um, yes. Okay, how small was it when you brought it first time? Oh, uh, it was really small. Right. It was like this it, small. yes, just Right. it. I remember. Yeah, it gets bigger. Yes. And what's interesting about it, and uh, come to think of it, that I I I I used to uh, raise uh, a total to no 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 not a total. It was many. And do they change house? I mean, they live in the house, right? Yes. But then, do they ever change it, or do they uh, do they live in the house forever and it gets bigger together? Um, forever is Yeah, forever. yes. Uh huh. It's interesting. It's really hard, but it grows together. Yeah, that's what's interesting about it. Okay. Mm, yeah. Then Layla just mentioned that you wanted to, but then that means you couldn't do it. So why not? I don't remember. <laughs> I I really wanted to have turtle or rabbit or cat or dog, Oh. Oh. but fish, but I couldn't. I, Hmm. I don't remember why. I see. Okay. Then what about Ariel then? Ariel, tell us about pets, please. What pet? I don't know. It doesn't have to be your pet, but your opinion, just opinion. Uh, I want to raise a dog, a big dog. Mm, big dog. Yes. Mm -hmm. As big as you can ride. <laughs> uh, like uh, retrievers or wa water border collie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard border collie is really smart. Yeah. Mm, probably the smartest dog, right? That's what I heard, actually. But the one thing that scares me is that, you know, I raise a son and he's about 12 kilogram and retriever must be bigger than my son, right? Heavier. Yes. But when I change his diaper, I see a lot of shit. He's only 12 kilograms. And then his shit is that big, then what if I'm talking about like, what if we talk about the one retriever, which is much bigger than my son, and I need to clean it. Have you ever thought about it? Ariel? Oh, uh, but they're cute. What was that? Sorry. But still, they're cute. So. Yeah, actually, they are Oh. cute and very kind, gentle. Yeah. Right.
and okay is there any way that i can train the dogs to just uh, go take a poo in the toilet and they flush it down i think both the call is smart so maybe it can understand yeah probably i can teach them yeah what if that's possible that i might raise one Okay, now what about Stella then? Maybe you can talk about your pet or just any opinion about pets. Um, uh, I want to raise a dog too. Um, but I want to raise a small one. Mm. Um, yeah, so I want to raise a Pomeranian or a Welsh Corgi. Mm. Yes, they're my favorite dog. Probably everyone's favorite dog, I think. And uh, I think people love to raise... Hey, uh, give me the breed. Like, okay, Pomeranian, that was one. And you said Welsh Corgi. And is there any 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 other types of dogs that you want to raise? Uh, Stella, Layla, and Ariel. Just any opinion, please. Oh, Golden Retriever. That was mentioned just now. What else? Uh, Shichu. Shichu? Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, I like Shetland Sheepdog, um, but it's oh, not small. It's big. The yeah. dog with the gray hair, right? No. Isn't it? No? What color is it? Um it uh they can have a various color. Uh -huh. I, I saw brown color and and uh yes, yeah, gray color too. Okay. All right, then what about Layla then? When it comes to dogs, would you, what what kind of dog would you raise? I want to raise Marty Poo. Oh, that one actually. I, I heard it. And what's Marty Poo exactly? Could you explain? Uh, Maltese and Poodle mm -hmm. have a baby uh -huh. and that's Marty Poo. Oh, so that's the mixture of Maltese and Poodle. Yes. Are they as smart as poodles? I think. Okay. I heard poodles are as smart, not as smart, but then probably second smartest dog after that. Uh, what is it? Help me. Somebody help me, please. There's Bodicoli. the. Yeah, Bodicoli. Yeah, Bodicoli is the smartest. And second is probably poodle. But then not the small poodles, but. The real size poodles, they are really smart. Uh, that's what I heard. Oh, yeah. I heard. Yeah, yeah, I heard too, right? And do you know any smart dogs? Do you guys know? Border Collie, Golden Retriever, Border Collie, Golden Retriever, and Poodle. Uh, there are like uh, the police dog. Oh, yeah. Shepherd? Yeah. Oh, is Shepherd smart? Because there are police. Oh, oh, I see. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, then now my question is, Mar is Marty smart? I don't think so. Me neither. So <laughs> when we have the mixture of Marty's and Poodle, then would that be as smart as Marty's or Poodle? That's my question. But my cousin has a dog, mm -hmm. and he is Marty Poo. Oh, really? That's Marty Poo? Latte? Yes. Oh, Latte oh. is Marty Poo. Yeah, and he's pretty smart. Oh, well, then maybe Marty Poo is smart too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then now maybe I can ask Stella, then what about hamsters? Are they as smart as dogs? No. Um, I... Uh, I um I can't train my hamster, but uh, 
um golden hamster uh some golden hamster sometimes they can uh they want to go to the bathroom they can go the seat which i uh which i fit oh they know really um yes they can oh okay okay well that's actually smarter than i think it was all right interesting okay that was about pat and we have about three minutes and now let's talk about anything you want anything's fine some opinions or anything maybe about homework maybe about topics maybe about anything um last weekend hmm. um i went to the pension hmm. uh, with my two best friends and yeah. we swam at the pool and play at the beach and ate um, many delicious food and um play until 2 a.m wow. um, yes that was really great <sighs> and uh you just mentioned the beach so uh is it east east side or west side Maybe oh, uh, there, there, there will many mods. So, mm -hmm. oh wait, is this uh Sotjo? Oh uh, no, this is uh Dongjo. Is this Dongjo? Uh huh. Um. Maybe rest. Maybe, but anyways, you know, uh, did you, uh, you know what? Actually, just now we talked about the beach, and then I wanted to ask you: Have you ever made a sand castle? No. Not Stella. So what about Layla and Ariel? No. No. I did. You no? did. Oh, just <clears throat> recently, I, I, I don't know why, I'm almost like, I'm, I'm already 40, I think. Yeah, I'm 40 years old, and recently, just recently, I wanted to make a sand castle. I don't know why. So I'm thinking maybe I just get a, uh, get a bucket of water and to the playground, which has sent there with my son, to make a castle. And the only reason I want to bring my son is because without him, maybe the police will come to catch me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's not for my son. It's for me. Okay, I guess that's the end of the class. And I think I will uh, bring you some other kind of homework later. But then to do so, I need to make something.